Alright guys, welcome to some Friday Night Football, it is Hearts versus Inverness, we're here for the match preview as the top of the table Jambos take on 6th place Inverness in the Scottish Championship, I'm sure that's not where Inverness want to be, but unfortunately for them, that is where they are, Hearts are top, closing in on a Scottish Championship win, will tonight be a routine victory? Or will Inverness have something in store for Hearts? Can they do what Aloha, Dunfermline and some other shitey team who I cannot remember have already done this season? And that is defeat Hearts. Inverness will uh, be... Well, they'll have the Neil McCann in charge. He is interim manager now for Inverness since Robertson has left for personal reasons. I'm not sure what those reasons are, but Neil McCann comes in to take charge of uh, Inverness, so yeah, former Hearts man, you know what, good luck to him, I hope he does well, just not tonight, but I hope Neil McCann can have a decent, I don't know if it's just temporary or whether he's going to get the job permanent, I do not know, but hopefully, I like Neil McCann, he's a, he's a decent guy, hopefully he does alright, but yeah, <laughs> as long as he loses tonight, everything will be good, so Hearts have an 11 point lead over Dunfermline, they played 17, that's one game more than Dunfermline, they have a 14 point lead over third place Rave Rovers, who they played two games more than. I think we're at the stage of the season where I, I, I don't want to say the league's over, but I think the league's over, guys. Come on. I mean, at this stage, it would take hearts to collapse. They would absolutely have to fall apart here to not win the league. Now, you've got to keep in mind here. It is a shorter league season, so even though hearts have played 17 games, there's only, there's only 10 more to go. So, you know, 10 more to go. I don't, I don't see Hearts falling apart. It's how many points should win the league? I'm going to go on a limb here and say... I think, I think even 50 points could be enough to win this league. It might not be, but 50 points could well be enough. And at the moment, Hearts are only 12 away from that. So, um, I think Hearts could win there. As for the, the lineups, Hearts are going at 4-2-3-1 tonight. Gordon and Nett, Smith at right-back. Popskew and Halkett in the centre-back positions. Kingsley at left back, then it's Halliday and McNeff in the midfield, Castanier, Naismith and Mackay Stevens with Boyce up front, and Inverness are going with a similar formation, 4-2-3-1, with Ridgers, Duffy, Define, Diaz, Harper, Welsh, Carson, Story, Keatons, McGregor and Sutherland, so I mean I, I think Hearts will win this, it's been a pretty split season, I know a lot of people aren't exactly uh, delighted with how things have went, but you know, we're top of the league, I mean, I wasn't really bothered, I mean, it would have been nice to have dominated the season, it would have been nice to have went undefeated, but it's all about getting back into the Scottish Premiership, and that's exactly what James McFadden came out and said recently, he was saying that if Hearts played their best every week, they would beat every other championship side, but it's hard to reach those levels every game, they are playing against the best versions of the opposition every week, so they found it tough to get a run of consistency, and I agree. And he went on to talk about Dundee United. He says that Dundee United spent too long in the championship and that Dundee United fans would have been happy had Dundee United maybe not had the greatest season but went back up on their first attempt. And, I mean, I completely agree. I, I, would, I would rattle the hearts, you know, maybe not look as good as I thought they'd be if it means we win the league and get back into the premiership. So, for me, that is what it's all about. As for tonight, as for the scoreline, I'm going to have a bit of faith here. I'm going to say we come through tonight 2-1. Uh, we've, we've through our last two games, which isn't really ideal, but I think we will get back to winning ways here. I am going to go 2-1 Hearts, and I'm going to go with goals from... I'm going to go with Boyce and Naismith. I normally go Boyce and Naismith, so that's what I'm going to go with, guys. Boyce and Naismith, see if I can get it right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if Hearts can get the win here, further the lead at the top, but regardless, win, lose, or draw, I can't see any way back for the teams below us. But I'm, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go 2-1. Goal State, Boyce and Naismith. And for Inverness, we'll go with Keatons. Right, we'll say Keatons gets the goal. I don't know if that's going to happen, but that's what I'm going with. So if you don't like it, then, you know what, sue me. Fucking sue me. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. What is your predictions? Who do you think will get on the score sheet tonight? And, and be honest, do you think the league's over? Because I do. I mean, I know it's pretty early to say that, but I, I'd be shocked if Hearts don't win the league. I think it would be the biggest bottle job in football history if Hearts don't win the league. I just can't think of a, a team that's you know been further ahead and a and a team that's a le so much levels above the other teams and then they've, they've blown it. To me, it's not happened yet. And I, I I would go on a limb here and I'd say Hearts losing this, the championship would almost be worse than Rangers losing the Premiership. So I might be controversial, but I'm going to go with that anyway. Hearts ain't going to lose the the championship and they ain't going to lose tonight. Hopefully, two one Hearts, Boyce and Naismith. 
Go and stick a tenner on it at the bookies. You know you want to. But anyway, till next time, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And peace. We'll be back for the match review. Unless Hearts can beat 5-0, then I might just go to bed and cry myself to sleep. So there you go. Till next time. Peace.